we're doing clearing on procrastination. You know, it's interesting, but I have that in my life. <laughs> yeah, and knowing what I know, you'd think I'd be doing more clearing on myself, but, you know. Try the U.S. Army. What? Try the U.S. Army. I mean, the U.S. Army totally taught me not to have any procrastination at all. They don't? No. It's like do it now. Military, yeah. yeah. Oh, military. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it gives you kind of fundamentals of discipline. Well, then they bring in my world, it comes from much, much, it's, it, for me personally, it's like by cleaning up the areas that cause the procrastination, then we don't have, I don't need to have, you know, like, um, what did you, you just say? Discipline. Discipline. Yeah. So, I mean, discipline's good, and it's still nice to clean up the reason, the cause of all these things. So, that's why I do what I do. All righty. So, just a little information. It's always good to understand exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So, we procrastinate because there's oftentimes anxiety or fear around just our own success. Having all the things that we really want in our lives. What's interesting when I say that, because I can see where we do have a desire, where we do have this wanting, you know what I mean? Like we want love, we want connection, we want success, we want everything to flow in our lives. So that energy of that wanting is in these upper parts of like, if those of you who actually sense energy and look at energy, which I know many of you do, you can actually see the desire of the wanting is up in these upper areas. And as you all know, it's the subconscious stuff that's doing the interference, okay? So it's great that we have the ability to, you know, get, make, have discipline and, and make ourselves do things on a regular basis. That's awesome. And it's also really good to start cleaning up what's underneath. Because not only does it clean up the uh, inability to keep following through or the procrastination, it touches so many different facets of our lives. You know, it's like, if you were to see how everything's all tied in, I don't care what the issues are. Remember I talked about, some of you don't know this, but I've talked about like the, the like an oak tree. I use an oak tree because it has leaves and it's an easy tree to remember because everyone knows an oak tree. So the, every leaf on the tree, which there's thousands of them, is a little issue. <laughs> you know, little, little things that, that kind of, we can identify and go, oh yeah, I'm afraid of being a failure, or oh yeah, I, I judge, or you know, all the, ins the, all, the, all the labels of insecurities. There's hundreds and hundreds of insecurities that each one has a little label, okay? Even things as simple as like, um, I was thinking about this the other day, that the clearing that we did on finding fault and then also judging. So even those labels have a different feel to them. Just a slight different feel, but each little feel literally hit something deeper inside. And ultimately, like if you were just to envision right now, like just look at an oak tree, and let's just say, okay, all, those little, all the leaves on that oak tree are all the issues that you're consciously aware of. Okay, conscious, you're totally awake to. So we can choose any one of those leaves and follow it to its little branch and follow that to its limb, and follow that down to the trunk of the tree. And we keep going deeper, and we're going to go into the seed where the tree was planted and grew all its roots and grew up to be this big, magnificent tree. But ultimately, what we're after is the seed. We're always after the core, the, the ultimate, the issue, the core, core, core foundation of your life. Of course, we can't just jump from that leaf there to the seed because it's so buried in the subconscious, you can't access that. You can't find the feelings. You can't find, you know what I mean? Like if I said to you, hang on a second. Okay, so if I said to you, oh yeah, way back when you separated from the initial uh, oneness of all that is, something actually got, um, what is it? It's more like a, it's like a tear, it's like a, it's like um, an energy in the energy field, like a, like almost like a thorn that happens. And in that, 
everything grew from that because from that moment forward there was a feeling or a sense of separation. There must be something wrong with you. You must be unlovable. Now, you can't take your awareness and take it fully back to that initial separation without someone supporting, guiding, helping. And even then you still don't get the full effect of that. And you'll find it on all the leaves on the tree. Okay, so the, le the way back is through the, the, what you are aware of, what you do feel an emotional charge with, what you do have a reaction with. Okay, those are your doorways in. And in order to clear and get to the root of everything, we still have to find all the pieces, all the components. I had a client the other day who I've been working with a bit. She actually truly does have the lineage of Rinpoche's and, Dal and Lamas and things like that in her bloodline. And I found a piece the other day where she completely gave herself over to a teacher. You know, many teachings, this is what you're supposed to do when you, when you devote your life and you give yourself over to a teacher. You are, you know, part of it is, is absolutely 100% you do that. Well, she did, but here's the problem. If that teacher has any distortion, if that teacher has any um, disconnections or ego or anything that isn't just pure light, then you subject yourself to something that isn't going to serve you. So it was a major unraveling for her, like serious, because now she's having all kinds of problems with this particular teacher. Not in a good way. So, but she gave herself over 100%. So, I mean, that's an amazing ability, seriously. I've not met anybody that did it to that degree. I've seen people devoting and all that, but I've not seen anybody totally 100% give themselves over to a teacher. Now we're unraveling it, okay? But my point is, is with all the lineage, all the teachings, all the knowings, everything that she's had, there's still distortion in her energy field and there's still an unwinding. So this is my point in, in all the leaves on the tree. It's not that we have to deal with every leaf on the tree and each leaf will help us to find and, and find pieces and bring us back to the very core, core, core of what we're looking for. So as we're unraveling these leaves on the tree, it takes us deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay, but we've got many, many leaves now, unfortunately. And the good news is, is we have ways to accelerate everything. Things can move much faster, which is really cool. So the veils are thinning even more. Oh, this reminds me. This is so cool. Back in the 80s when I was teaching some classes, this is like, I, st I lived in California, but I lived in the Bay, uh, Bay Area area. And I was shown that the time... I was shown many things, but one of the things that I was shown was this future time that we're in right now. Okay, I was shown that in the 70s, but I also got another piece of the information. And that piece of information is, okay, now those of you who, who sense energy, which most of you do, okay, check this out. You're going to like this, okay? This, you're just going to change a lot of things for you, with you, okay? All right. I want you just to sense and see that, they're, that the veils are thinning, but in that energy of the veils, there's also two sides. This is the old paradigm here, and this is the new paradigm. You cannot go fully into the new paradigm with old paradigm energy in your energy field, in your soul imprint. Okay, we did a little bit of this in class. All right. So in order to pass through that, a lot of things have to dissolve and be let go of. The old paradigm things. And some of the old paradigms are things like judging others, judging ourselves, finding fault. You know, the negative, negative energies that create the separation in ourselves and with everyone that we connect with. On some level, there's a feeling of separation. You all know this, you all know this, and if you tell the truth, it's like, all righty then. Everyone believes that they've had experiences that nobody else has had. And it makes them different, makes them unique, and it also creates this feeling or sense that you know more than anybody else. I told you about classes, I had 30 people, and people would, re everyone owning that, everyone believed that they knew more than everybody else, they were the chosen one. So, 
yes, you are special, but you're not any, you're, we're all exactly the same, only different. We just all have all these experiences that accelerate our evolution and help us to grow and expand and wake up. So, in this energy I'm referring to, in order to come, move into and pass through that energy field, there's an, it's like an energy field that you can sense now that I brought it to your awareness. And if you watch people that have really dense dark energy, meaning unconsciousness, they can't penetrate that veil. They can't get through that energy field. We can help them. We can literally reach through that veil and start pulling them through and lots of stuff will start falling off, which is cool. And they're not gonna just pass through without dropping some of this egoic stuff, some of the ego things. Yes. Okay? Can I show you something else? Yes, go right ahead. Just yeah. Uh -huh. So there's like a huge chunk of them that's like, no. Yeah, the refusal. The book, this is all ego stuff. Yeah. It's all ego. So I don't know if people could hear, but um, someone was just saying that there are people who don't want to go through because they're, they're holding on to this belief that they got it together, they're successful, and on and on. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to let go of it. It's okay. They don't have to do it this lifetime. <laughs> Remember, we have eternity. <laughs> That's the good news, okay? It doesn't matter. There's no hurry. It's like there's, you know what I mean? Like in that energy of no time, it's like, it doesn't matter if 10 billion Earth life uh, airs go by, you pop back in and then maybe you're ready. It doesn't matter. The truth is everyone's going home. That's the truth. Everyone's going to wake up. Everyone's going to become that divine being. It may not be here on planet Earth but it might be somewhere else, okay? None of it really matters. You are eternal, bottom line. We are all eternal. All right, so coming back to procrastination, in their energy, like we're focusing on that leaf on the tree, procrastination, but that leaf is connected to all the other pieces. So as, a, as we unravel this piece of procrastination, it's going to affect many, 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 many facets of your life. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like it isn't oh, all of a sudden only procrastination is being affected. No. All facets of your life are being affected. So as we start unraveling and go deeper and deeper, it's, you know, with the new paradigm, with everything shifting and changing, with the veils thinning, we don't have to work so hard anymore to, you know what I mean? It's like we used to have to work really hard to clear energy and feel lighter and freer, but it's like, it, everything's happening really fast now because there is, because there is an acceleration. There, the veils are thinning. So with procrastination, as we start anchoring and looking down into that energy, like when we track people's energy field and we're looking at that feeling of procrastination, it hooks in and anchors in to deep, deep, deep um, unconscious energies, mostly like in the second chakra, emotional center. Okay. So, as we start the process today, what I'm going to have you do is I want you just to think about areas where you can feel where perhaps you are procrastinating. I think everyone can think of something or some area of your life where there is a procrastination happening. And it may have, and sometimes it may have a feel like it's like some, some areas are a little more intense than others. Like if you have several things that you think about, and some will be like, oh yeah, that, that's, you know, that's not such a big deal, I'll get to that. But then there's others that where you feel like, literally you feel like a, a grab in the belly. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like a, a grab in the belly, okay? So what we want today is we want the grab in the belly. That will also help with the easier procrastination that could be just entities or whatever, okay? So when you're thinking about the procrastination, remember those of you that are new, you won't know this, but those of you that have been coming, you know. So when you let yourself feel into, when you think about the, the, th the issue that you procrastinate with, and it makes that grab in the belly, and you allow yourself just to be with that, you know, your mind can't figure it out because it's not in the conscious mind, it's subconscious, all right? So, 
the way to access the subconscious is to relax into what you are aware of and allow that feeling to be there. Okay. So when you think about this, the area that you're wanting to shift in the procrastination, you feel the grab in the belly, let yourself just be with the feeling of the grab. Don't try to change it. Don't try to rise above it. Don't try to move it or get it out of the way. Welcome it. Say yes to it. Say, oh yeah, bring it on. <laughs> this grab in the belly is making me sick. <laughs> okay? But stay with it. Now you have to take your awareness. And if you, if you don't take your awareness, then you won't be able to find what we're looking for. Okay? If you just stay in the energy of the grab, the intensity, then you can't go into what's underneath. So as you're with that feeling, and it, sometimes it might feel nauseating, it might feel like you're going to throw up, or it just might feel like a really intense, uncomfortable feeling, well, what's happening is you are actually, as you stay with a feeling, you are welcoming the energies, the senses, the emotions of other spirit beings that are in your body, contributing to that, and that, when you do that, you bring awareness to that, and you're actually lighting it up. When I say lighting it up, it means that I'm watching your energy field, as anybody who does this kind of work does, and when you light it up, the energy comes more visible. Whether it becomes visible through the sight, which is, I have a, a sight, Sometimes we feel the knowing, sometimes we have the audio, clear audience, and sometimes um, we, we feel in the knowing, or we, you know what I mean? It's like there's a different ways we sense energy. So you're showing us, you're showing me energy. That's why I have you do what you do, okay? And to get the most out of it, you want to go as deeply as you can into how it makes you feel. All right. So now here we are at that level where you're feeling the physical sensations, the tightening, the grab, the anxiety, all these different energies, okay? So now, if you just be with that, but now you have an intention and you take your intention and you take your awareness and you have that desire that just says, how does this really make me feel? How does this feel? on an emotional level. How does this make me feel on an emotional level? The reason I want the emotion is because when you can feel what that emotion is, you bring even more energy into my sight, into my senses, as well as your own. Okay? So, when you go in and you start to feel what the, whatever that initial feeling is, let's just say it could be a feeling of fear. Maybe you're, there really is a feeling of fear, okay? Maybe there's a feeling of sadness or hopelessness. It doesn't matter what that feeling is, but the, the key is allow it. It's not meaning that you have to go into some experience of crying or screaming. or It's not about that, but it's about light it up. Because our tendency is to avoid and negate and push down anything that feels uncomfortable. So when we go in, let's just say that there is like a bit of a fear, okay? So let's just say as you go in and you start to feel in the belly, and you get past, or you can still feel the energy of the intensity, the nausea, the anxiety, whatever. See, I'm feeling you right now. So someone's feeling a lot of stuff in their belly, okay? Remember, when you have a feeling and you're trying not to feel it, everybody in the room is going to feel it, thinking it's them. Okay? The more we feel it, we own it, then everybody else's belly will relax and they'll be able to feel more of what is them. Okay? <clears throat> so let's just go back. Okay, so here we are. We feel the energy. Oh, we feel some energy of fear. We don't know what it is, but you're going to allow it this time. You're going to welcome it. You're going to say yes to it. Okay? And as you feel that energy, remember that these are the top layers. In order to access the even deeper layers, then we have to just completely just be soft and surrender and allow that feeling of fear to be there. Okay? 
So we allow it, we allow it. Now, we don't want to get lost in it, okay? But what we want to do now is just, you're just allowing. Now we're going to go even deeper. Now we're going to look a little deeper. What's the feeling right underneath the fear, okay? That could actually be terror. Sometimes there's terror right underneath fear, okay? Once again, you don't get caught in it. You're just witnessing, allowing, welcoming, saying yes to what's there, okay? Because somewhere in your life stream, by being successful, by being a non-procrastinator, some kind of trauma has happened and you concluded something somewhere in your evolution. That energy is still in your soul imprint. This is how I unravel it. Other people may unravel it differently, but this is what I have found to be the most effective, powerful, fast way of unraveling, is finding where is it really coming from. So as you're lighting it up for me, while you're allowing and feeling and welcoming these sensations, then it allows me to see where this is coming from. There's going to be entities, there's going to be disincarnate beings, there is going to be absolutely past incarnation experiences. A reminder, everything that you experience in this lifetime is not your first experience. You've been having these experiences repeatedly. Remember the recycling because you pull something, you have an experience, you draw a conclusion, you make make decisions, and then you hold on to the energy, and then when you reincarnate, then you recreate those same things to try and unravel this wounding, but you're not unraveling, you're gathering more evidence why it's not safe, why you can't open your heart, why you procrastinate, okay? So in the unraveling, the more that you can just light this up in that feeling, because we're using the feeling of procrastination, lighting that up, and we're going to be clearing it at a very deep, deep, deep level into your past incarnations, which is really cool, okay? All right, so now we're going to just keep going as deep as you can go. So let's say some of you might feel like this energy of terror, anxiety, okay? So just be, once again, you're just going to be with that, okay? Just being with that. So as we continue, each time, each layer that you light up, each each time that you can feel just a little bit deeper, just a little bit of a sensation right underneath the, that feeling, you're literally showing me what's there and then allows for the opportunity to start clearing that out of your energy field so it changes your experience. But that's your participation. I need your participation. If you just sit back and, and don't light anything up, then you're not going to have the same experience as someone who's lighting stuff up. Okay, so what, what, what you will notice is the intensity. So what we're after is the total elimination of a, of a charge in the body. Sometimes that can take a few sessions. And, which is really cool, in our membership, which is the same price for a clearing, you can listen to repeatedly to a video of your choice and keep going deeper and deeper and deeper and unraveling, which is so cool. All right. Mm -hmm.